Hi, this is Christopher Rockus. So we're going to talk about how we need uh, lab equipment. So um, you should be in your notes on page 14, unit one notes. Okay, so what we want to do is decide how big the intervals are, like this is a graduated cylinder. So we're going to look at it and we see that it's 60 and 50 there. So let's see. So we could say that between 60 and 50, there's uh, 10 milliliters. So this is how we would do it mathematically. Um, there's 10 milliliters and we would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we would divide it by 10 and then we find out that each one is 1 milliliter. So you can do it that way or a lot of you are really good at doing it visually so you can figure out that um, each of those intervals are 1. So when we count this, it's 50. 51, 52, so we write 52. So what's different here from what you've done before, you want to include an uncertain digit. So we're going to go to the bottom of that black meniscus. So I'm going to say it's 52.8, and we always put our units of milliliters. So what's different is we're going to include this 8 is our uncertain digit and then we include our units. So let's try some other ones. So here we're gonna decide um, how each of these are broken up and you cannot assume that it's just one. So if I did this mathematically, between the 70 and the 60, so 70 minus 60 is 10 degrees. And then we count our intervals, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, divide by 10. So each of those is one degree. Um, I'd say it's Fahrenheit because it's a higher scale. So um, we're going to do the 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68 but we can't just leave it as 68. We're going to do 0.0, we need to include that. And then I'm going to say it's Fahrenheit because it's a higher scale. All right, so the deal is that you have to be really careful about what that interval is. So here we have um, 27 and 28. So let's do, let's erase this first. Maybe not. All right. So, so we're going to do 28 minus 27, which gives us 1. And then we count on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, divide by 5. So what happens is that that ends up, if we put it in our calculator, to be 0.2. So, that's a different interval than what we've had before. So right here, this is 28. This is 28.2. So we're halfway between the 28 and the 28.2. So I'd say it's 28.1. I'm going to say it's Celsius because it's a lower scale. All right, volume. Okay, so we're going to decide how this is divided up. So notice this is 4 and that's 3. So we're going to do 4 minus 3. I like to do mathematically because that way I always get the intervals right. So it's 1 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 divided by 10. So that means that each one of those intervals, if I put it in my calculator, calculator is 0.1. So we have 4 here, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, is 4.3. This one is 4.4. So we're halfway between the 4.3 and the 4.4. So I would say it's 4.35 
milliliter. All right, so here we have 40 minus 30 equals to 10. So we count on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, divided by 5. So each of those is 2. So we're going to do 30, 32. So 32.0 milliliters. So you always have to include an uncertain digit when you're doing these. 